Okay, so um, we talk about comic books on this show. I don't know if you knew that or not. I, I knew a little bit of that. It's not just a clever yeah. title, it's a comic book syndicate. But yeah. I don't think anybody really understands what's behind a comic. Yeah. Right? Like what could, what's involved to actually produce it from the start to finish. Yeah, like right? most people I know think that it, uh, one person does the, the penciling, the inking, and the coloring all as mm -hmm. one. That's obviously not true. No, uh, my, like my, my job is, is the penciler. So I, I'm the beginning stages of the book where I get a script from a writer. Uh, he breaks it down scene by scene, page by page, panel by panel. And then it's my job to lay out the artwork uh, and do the finished pencils. Uh, from there, I then have to send it off to an inker. So wait a minute. Okay, so the penciler. So basically, you're the artist. Yeah. So everything, you're the everything that you're going to see on the page is essentially controlled by me. It's kind of like maybe like the director of a film, where mm -hmm. okay. the writer's like the screenwriter. I'm the director, and then from that, from from that point on, it's it's all like the special effects and the post production. Yeah, because I've always been really curious. How many people like you've got? Editor, you know what I mean. You got a writer. You got this. Two editors, like... a writer. There's myself. I'm I'm on detective. I'm doing both the pencils and the inks digitally. Okay. And then there's a color guy. And then there's also a letter artist. So, so wait, yeah. So, so we got like seven people involved. To do one to book. To do okay, one wait, book. Time out. I'm confused though. The ink guy, the inker. Mm -hmm. Don't look at me like I'm stupid. <laughs> <laughs> we never, right. ever, 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 right. ever, <laughs> ever, ever. The inker guy, the inker guy, and then you said there's a colorer. Mm -hmm. Is that even a word? Colorist. 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 Okay. A colorer. <laughs> What's the difference? What's the difference between an inker and a colorist? Well, the, the inker's job is to take my penciled line and to go over it in black India ink so that it's you get that nice contrast of the black and white. Does he get paid to do that? Yeah, he gets paid. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, the idea, to give, the, the, idea, the idea, too, as well as, as getting an inker, I mean, that was always something I've read, how the inker was extremely important. Like, mm -hmm. who it was, was Austin or somebody like that, and how they would interpret their lines in some, yeah. you know, they worked such close collaboration that they started to, the original pencil was like, oh, my work only looks good when. Hmm. So, you've had inkers, clearly, in the past. Mm -hmm. Is the computer good at doing that? Like, that's what I'm curious about, is the technology from giving it to some other person mm. to reinterpret your lines, and you just doing it yourself digitally, yeah. do um, you prefer it? Is it, is it, is it something well, that's, that's growing? Yeah, you know what, it, it is a growing thing in the comic book industry. Uh, there's, uh, I know, f four or five guys who, top artists at DC, are now going all digital with their work. Uh, I've been doing it about a year now, and the, the thing with me is, is when you're working on pencil and paper, uh, every time you draw a line, it's it's essentially scratching the face of that paper. So yeah. anytime you're erasing stuff and redrawing it and erasing it and redrawing it, you're destroying the paper and it gets muddy and you can't get the nice lines that you want. It takes a lot, for me it was taking a lot longer, it was taking me a day and a half to two days to do one page of work. Since switching to digital, I'm working pretty much just in black line, so I'm doing both the job of a penciler and an inker, yeah. and it's taking me a day to do a page. So mm -hmm. I've and, for the, and for the fans, that <clears throat> I have a couple questions. Okay. Do you mind, or can I throw this? What is paper? Fire? Is that the first one? <laughs> <laughs> and you it's laugh. Milled wood. And you laugh. <laughs> Filmed in front of a live studio audience and make fun of me. That's fine. All right. First question is this. So the digital. You draw right on a computer. Yeah. Right? Yeah. There's no original art. No. You know the original art's worth big cash, right? Yeah, it can be. Like when you're like 65 years old, you're like, I'm Jay Fabach, original page, 10 grand. Yeah. But you if someone I, mean? I need to buy oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> right? The thing Diapers, is those, whatever. Yeah. You know what, I mean? what happens if your computer gets wiped out and then you lose all your artwork? You know, I, I weighed the pros and cons of it, mm -hmm. and to me, in the end, the time that I got to save doing a book. And spend more time with my wife and my family. Oh, he's alone. <laughs> but, but, but it makes when, I, when, you're, when you're working, comic books isn't a, a nine to five job. It's a eight o'clock in the morning till ten o'clock at night, seven days a week. Mm. It gets old after a while. Well, actually, like that's called a chef. Yeah. <laughs> Do you get to pick the people you work with? Um, like you say, I'm not doing it unless I have so and so in the, doing the. I've been pretty lucky. Uh, like when I was doing it pencil and have to send it off to an inker, I was naming the inkers I wanted, and they were giving me the, the inkers I wanted. Same with color artists. Uh, there's there's specific color artists that I like, and there's specific ways I like my work done. Do you guys work in the same room? Oh my God, is the phone ringing? George answering. 
No, 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 this phone is never rang. What is going on? I know, it's not, you answer I'm it! Not it's touching a bad the phone. phone. Mike, answer the phone. It could be anything. Somebody answer the phone! Hello? Who? What? No, there's no Commissioner Gordon, no Batman here. What that? Who? Do you guys work in the same room? Myself? I'm a, I'm a hermit. I like to work alone. I've, I've worked office jobs where you have to, where I'm doing art and I can't concentrate. I need to be alone by myself to concentrate on the work. And This raises an interesting point. So you mm -hmm. have had regular jobs before this. Yeah. You've worked in offices and like 7-Eleven, mm -hmm. so, whatever. So, yeah, yeah, gas stations. Drawing okay. Archie. So, so, so <laughs> I just want to know, uh, are you a lifelong comic book fan? Yeah, yeah. I. Uh, when I was in high school, my, my high school English teacher, Mr. Rubinsky, he caught me drawing in class one day. We were supposed to be reading Shakespeare or something. I'm, it's I'm true, this, Shakespeare. I'm drawing this comic book of this guy with an axe helmet, and he's like killing all these dudes with his head, right? <laughs> and, and yeah. I really want to see an axe helmet. Yeah, it was, it was pretty cool. And maybe it'll be like a creator owned thing one day, axe if helmet. If you still had that original art. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know. That's what I'm talking about. But, eBay, uh, baby. But, eBay. But, but, but my right, teacher caught me like drawing, and, and instead of like. I'm thinking like, oh, he's, I'm gonna get in trouble. I'm supposed to be reading Shakespeare. Instead, he goes, oh, dude, you should be a comic book artist. And then he started bringing me comic books like Watchmen and really? all. The, like, oh, you nice. should try, you know, check this out. And you know, from that point on, it was kind of I started getting into X Men and into some Marvel stuff. And then, and then I discovered like Jim Lee and all these guys. And then that's when it was like, man, that's what I want to do. So, I want to draw. And what age was this? I would have been like 13, 14 kind of thing. Which is like, a little bit late. Yeah. A little bit late. I, I got into it when I was younger. But. I did grow up I did grow up watching a lot of, you know, like Batman the Animated Series. Sure. I was into Batman, I was into Superman right from the get-go. Sure. So those things were always prevalent. But when you're a little kid, it's like, uh, like I didn't, my dad didn't know where to get comics and mm -hmm. things like that, you know, and so I didn't really have that much exposure I to I didn't, it. so we're gonna go to break and uh, during the break, just you and I will talk about some original art. So. All right. <laughs> some sales. Come right back. All right. Some sales. <laughs>